We're going to do something a little different today. I'm Billy with Our Off Rodeo. Before we get started on this, I just need to let you know that I am not in any way, shape, or form sponsored by this product or even supported by them. This is just my opinion and my review on how this stuff works. So a couple weekends ago, um, my wife and I, we went out camping in uh, Hemingway Butte. It's a big, huge OHV area out in, uh, in Southern Idaho here. Uh, miles and miles and miles of just trails all over the place from, from uh, uh, dirt bike trails to ATV and side-by-side -side trails to Jeep trails, truck trails for me because we have a Toyota. Um, and uh, we take our toy hauler out there and uh, ride our ATVs. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's all free. Um, you know, I think you can camp out there for 14 days. Uh, but the main point of this video is these right here. The XGP helmet communication devices. Let's dig into it. So this is my helmet and this is my wife's helmet. I uh, apologize, they're completely covered in dust because uh, we were just out there again this last weekend and we'll continue to go until the weather gets so cold we can't handle it. Um, but we're addicted to this stuff. The trails out there are incredible. Um, the scenery, the, the wildlife, everything out there, just that's what draws us out there. And no better way to do it than riding a couple of ATVs. But we, have, we used to have a problem. Um, there's been several times that um, I'm going up a hill, I get up over the hill and I don't know where she's at. I'm constantly looking back over my shoulder uh, and trying to find out where she is, turn around and go back and see if she's made it up the hill or if she's in fact maybe rolled over backwards or something. It's a scary thought, but it's happened. And I got tired of dealing with it. And I thought there's gotta be a better way to do this. Um, we ran into some people in the dunes in Oregon once and uh, they had helmet communication. But at that time, what the brand that they had was super expensive and I wasn't about to kick out all that money for communication for a couple of helmets when we're just out riding ATVs um, and they were riding, they're in side-by-sides. So a little bit different. Um, these things here are Bluetooth uh, with your phone and with each other. And I believe that you can link multiples together. So if you got like four people out, you can all communicate. So you can actually be listening to music on your phone. And when the other person starts talking to you, it cancels the music out and you can hear them and them only. So it's not a problem with, uh, they're talking over your music. So it just kind of stops and it continues back when, when the talking stops, stops. So that's kind of a cool little feature. Um, we don't use it, um, because we're constantly talking out there. Uh, there's so many times where we're coming around corners, uh, going up over the top of hills, uh, the sight distance is just nothing. You don't know if there's another ATV or side-by-side -side flying through there and you don't want to hit them. So I'll go up on the side of the hill and let whoever's coming on the other side, if there's in fact somebody coming the other way, and I'll get up there and I'll communicate with these to her that is clear, that she's clear to go ahead and climb up over the hill. Because you don't, some of these hills you don't want to stop in the middle of it and then try to get started again. It's not good. It can end bad. Um, so that's one thing that's been working out really well for these. Um, the, another thing is to keep me from looking back to see if she's there. She checks in with me when she gets up over the, over the hill, um, which is nice. And then every once in a while, if I don't hear from her for a little while, I'll check in with her to say I'm checking in. Um, and, uh, and then we also, uh, communicate with, uh, which trails we're going to take. Uh, we come up to splits in the trails, intersections, whatever it may be. And uh, we can communicate and decide which trail we're going to take and direction. Or uh, sometimes she'll she'll let me know ahead of time that she's going to take something a little bit slower. Um, I can usually make it up pretty much anything. And, and sometimes she doesn't trust herself to make it up some of these hills. So she, she'll let me know that she's going to take a little bit slower. And, and then so I'll get up to the top of the hill and I'll turn around and I'll wait for her. And she can, like if she has any problems coming up the hill... I can give her some some tips, of the best ways to get up it. So there's how many problems climbing the hill. So there's several things um, that made me decide to uh, get these 
Um, safety is probably the biggest thing. Um, less concerned about where she is, if she's made it over a hill, um, you know, uh, coming up to a hill and making sure that it's clear for her to go ahead and climb over it. So, so basically all boils down to uh, safety and then just chit chat. I mean, there's, we do a lot of chit chat and, uh, she can get annoyed with me sometimes. Um, uh, if I'm, if I'm bothering her, uh, but it's all good. I mean, it's, it's just a way to keep in contact with each other while we're writing. The other thing I think is really cool is these things last a long time. I think they're like 4,000 milliamp hours. I don't know what that calculates out to, but we rode for probably about five hours the first day. And the second day we got out there and I was kind of like, oh, I don't even know how much the batteries are, or how good the batteries are in this. So you push this back button here and it'll tell you your battery power is at 50%. And it was at the time. So 50%, I thought, well, we can go for another five hours. Um, if we stop for lunch or a good break or something, we turn them off and, uh, and then we just turn them back on and they sync with each other. Syncing them is really easy. Basically, you just push these two buttons to turn it on. And then once it's on, um, you reach over and push. This is the sync button. If you both push it, then they'll sync with each other. It takes, you know, about 30 seconds or so. And it'll let you, let you know connected. And then you can test with each other to see if you're both connected. There's also volume control. These two buttons here, volume up and volume down. Um, and then this back one lets you know your battery power. So that works out pretty good. Um, I'm still unsure on how to get the music to switch tracks if you're using your phone and listening to like, I don't know, whatever your favorite music app is. Um, but I do know that it, it, it actually works when you figure out how to use it. Um, we're not a big fan of that feature just because we, we communicate quite a bit. And I don't know, maybe if I was off by myself, I'd listen to music if I knew I didn't have to communicate with anybody. Um, so I'll go through uh, showing how these things were installed. Um, they're already installed, so I can't rip it all out, but I'll kind of give you an idea of um, what's involved with this. So basically, when you install the, the speakers, um, I don't know if you can see in there, you probably can't see it. There's, there's a speaker right there and one on the other side. This helmet's nice because the speakers kind of sink down in there a little bit better than my helmet. My helmet, I don't know, it's just not as, there's not a like a deep ear pocket right there. So um, it's kind of a pain to put mine on because it ends up catching my earlobes and and and, it, and then I got to work to, to put them back up. But um, you run your wires, you pull all this stuffing out and then you start, you know, these are Velcroed in so you can actually, uh, can actually remove them if you want to put them put the whole setup in a different uh, helmet or something so get all your wires tucked down in there and get your velcro on where the ear pockets are stick your speakers on and run your cord out the back side of it because this is the where you connect the device and then you plug it in from here so it's kind of it's kind of nice it keeps everything kind of tight and, and out of the way uh, because you can end up snagging stuff if, if it's not properly installed. Um, and then the, the, the actual mic, <laughs> I'm going to see, hopefully you can see this. Um, there's another little Velcro piece right up here um, in, in the top of this here. Um, and, and then you just Velcro the mic to it. You can kind of see the cord dangling right here. Um, I'm hoping that the, the camera shows all this. Um, Really easy to install, and if you want to take it out, it's really easy to take out. Uh, so the device itself, uh, these things don't weigh very much. They're super, super lightweight. And they're pretty strong, and they're waterproof. So basically, these three little grooves right here, and then the three little notches on there, just kind of put it in there like that, I think. <laughs> And then slide it down and it, it clips into place this little keeper keeps it from coming out of there and then you just take your plug and plug it in and the same with the other one so then i'll get these started you're not gonna be able to hear what it says in there but you just push the two buttons hold them down 
and then and then the, this starts blinking and then you do the same with this one with both of you do it at the same time and then once you get these blinking you get you hold these this down here the front button and then uh, they go into connect mode and it tells you what it's doing in there and then once they flash blue like that that means there's a connection it's that simple and to turn it off you just hold them both and it'll say powering down you do the same with this one here so, charging um, and then take it off basically just boop, just like that so you can charge it so charging these things I think it's it's the US BC whatever that charging port is uh, basically the, the newer style uh, I think it takes about two hours to fully charge one of these that's if it unless it's super dead um, we've never ran them all the way dead yet um, I don't even know if we could ride that long for that but you know if you're on a on a cruising motorcycle on the road big long, long road trip or something um, I would imagine you know after a few hours uh, quite a few hours of writing and communicating that probably or if you're listening to music it might you know cause the battery to go dead a little bit faster but for us what we do out there on the trails perfect they they stay charged for a very long time so I've only charged them actually once since we've been using them and uh, they're fully charged now because I like to keep them fully charged we never know when we're gonna go riding again so um, I'll, I'll add a link to the bottom um, if you want to watch the uh, the video, the two videos that we use these in, you can hear some chitter chatter in the in the background. It's because I'm wearing a um, a mic while we're writing, um, and you'll be able to hear us chit chatting. So there's some parts where you can hear me telling her she's clear to come around a corner or up a hill or whatever. Uh, but it's pretty cool. I I know there's other brands out there, um, and I've researched all of these well, as many as I could went before I bought it bought them and uh, this is just the one that had seemed to be the better reviews the only thing I don't like is the range um, so if I'm going up over a hill and I, I get over the top of the hill and she's still back there you can lose connection with that so I think it's like uh, insight you know you have to be uh, insight in order to, for them to have a good connection um, and they're about I think about a hundred yards um, and then it starts giving you warning warning beeps and then it'll eventually do a big burr beep on it when you lose connection but when you come back into range they auto connect all, all on their own so you don't have to go through all that process again so that is kind of a plus side to losing you know if you lose connection it's going to auto connect once it's back in range or once they can see the devices can see each other um, I, we have tested them a little bit further away but in a big open area and they seem to work. The quality of the sound goes down a little bit, like it sounds a little bit scratchy uh, until you start to lose range and then it, and it just completely shuts off and you can't communicate. So the best thing to do is try to stay within range, 100 yards or whatever it is, um, and, and keep these things connected, especially if you're writing with young kids. We you wanna make sure, and this would be great for that, just stick the little ear things, you get them set up with it, and you can communicate with you know your children while you're riding on the trails a lot of times families do that they go out riding together and, and you're constantly looking back I mean, it's hard to look back and see what they're doing uh, with a helmet on i mean it's it's a lot of moving back and forth so these things would be great for riding with your family and your kids little kids that you don't know what they're going to do so um that would pr probably be the my biggest pet peeve with these is the is the range also, um, it can be a little confusing on which button you're pushing. So get used to what buttons or what volume, battery test. I'm not sure if you hold this one down what it does, but it does do something. Um, and then uh, connect the two together, power off, power on. Um, there's not really a lot of buttons on here, but while you're writing, and the nice thing is, it's, it's this side, so your throttle hand is free to operate your throttle, and it's just a quick reach up and, and push the buttons that you need. 
Um, but there's no need to hit the, the sync button again if you lose connection because it'll, it'll do it by itself. If you want to watch the videos that we use these two, uh, these two devices in um, and then hear a little bit of communication chatter, um, go look at them right up here and right up here I'll, and I'll, I'll post them down below and you'll be able to see how, how nice they, they work. Uh, especially in a super busy area, you don't want to take any chances out there. Um, some of these people have no, no care in the world of who's coming head on into them. And there's been tons of people have been in bad accidents because they didn't know somebody was coming over the hill. I don't take that chance. I'll go off to the side so I can check and see that it's safe to continue. Let her know with these things and, and the way she goes. All right, guys, that's uh, it for the review on the, the XGP. Um, wireless helmet communication devices. Um, if you have any questions about them or comments, or if you have any experience with other ones that um, you want to give some input, uh, leave a comment below. Um, I try to reply to every single comment. I don't get very many yet, but still, it's you know it's nice to hear from people. Um, you know what you think about this, if you've tried them before, your experience with them. Um, I am going to be doing uh, a walk around on my Toyota rock crawler. I know you guys have all kind of seen it out there doing its stuff, but nobody really knows what's going on in that truck. Uh, so I'll, I'll uh, pick a decent day outside and I'll go out and I'll, uh, I'll go over all the stuff that's on it, in it, uh, the engine, the running gear, all that stuff. And, uh, and then we can get into that subject. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll uh, see you guys on the next one. Actually, this next weekend, um, we're going rock crawling. It's kind of a, a place that's not really well known to some people. I tried to get the information on where it was at and people don't s seem to want to give up that. So I had to find it myself, but we're going to go do it. And uh, hopefully we'll come up with some uh, good footage and hopefully it's a safe trip. We'll see you guys out there and that'll be this coming Saturday and that, that video will be posting by next Tuesday. So we'll see you guys. One last thing, please pick up your trash. I'm tired of watching my wife pick up everybody's trash on the trails and the parking lots. It's getting old. Sooner or later, people are going to stop going out and voluntarily picking up people's trash and they're going to shut down these trails. Help us keep that stuff clean. Leave it better than you found it.